Hello, so that's another small tutorial um, about some small tips in Keen. And this one I will tell you about another very old trick how to make a light warp. There is a many ways as usual to make a light warp. But um, as far as I know, that works for me all the time, and it's very simple. Is just to make a what's a light light work is is when you try to put some of the background in front or on the foreground, so to better integrate the the background and foreground. So they much match together on the edges, and um, yeah, you just put some of the background on top of the foreground. How you would do do would do this? Um, that's a very old trick, which comes from I guess from Shake. If you have an alpha of these guys, right? So you just put a merge node and connect both inputs of merge node together and what you got here is connected it's just uh, an alpha but if you put a, a stencil on here you will get an edge definition which comes into alpha channel so the main trick here is to apply blue in one of the inputs. So when you when you see the alpha on the top again stencil when you see an alpha and you increase the blue you just see that um, the edge gets bigger and um, just gets bigger inside because if you put the alpha here it will get outside right so that's that's wrong if you if you are not trying to achieve something else so put alpha and a input stencil and put blur to a input and it will give you an option to uh, now you have um, you have an alpha right and you have for example the background which is this one and previously it was the guys on the foreground and the background now you have the alpha of the edge what you could do is just copy Copy this alpha into the background. So we have now the background and the alpha with the background. And then you just pre mount it. Pre mount both alpha and the background and put it on top of the, of the guy, right? And immediately you see that uh, you just put some of the some of the background on top of it. What you could do is just put a grid node here and switch it to alpha. You could just uh, change in the the gain, change the alpha the amount of the background which you put on top of this guy. and we just completely dissolve the edge just put in the background on top right so, but we don't need to do that we just um, we just can manipulate it either here or we could decrease it over here we could just make it very tiny. 
but we just change it both ways. Now the thing is that uh, usually when, when the lights comes around, right, it's not completely defined at the background. It's just get some blueness, right? So we could just hit a blue here. And um, change the amount here. Yeah, so this, this is the difference. Now they have a sharp edge. Now they are better integrated with the, the, the background. Another thing is that you could just, you know, make a layers of this. For example, you have a huge effect like this. You want to make them more or less tinted with this background, but very small. And then you just copy this all and put it here. But with another values of uh, of blue and it should be just very very small, just tiny, small. Now you, you see that you have a very small, very small light work on the very edge, and the bigger one, which is affect the whole here, right? So again, you just uh, the main thing is that you just uh, put a stencil on alpha. Yes, if you have an alpha, any alpha. If you put a merge node and connect both inputs to the to the alpha, and put the operation to stencil, it will give you an edge. Right, and it's a very cheap operation. It doesn't take any any memory at all. If you add blur to the one of the inputs. I, I, d I don't remember which one every time. If you if you add the blue to the raw input, just you know, uh, you will see it immediately when you increase it that uh, that you edge. For example, if it was uh, here, you will see that you edge go into a wrong direction. It's not the light volume; it's just you know some hollow effect. If you want to make a hell of it, it's fine, but if you want to make a light work, it's not. So you just uh, add the blue and you copy the this, this values of alpha with the copy to the background. And that's it. Once you pre-multiply it, once you pre-multiply, you would put it on top of this. Yeah, that's it. And then you could change it and layer it. Just you know, stencil and blue, and to put it great. You may not do this, but if you want to have full control over the over the over the off and you just do it. Yeah, that's small tip, but I use it almost on every key. It's just very helpful and it's very cheap, and it's very flexible. So I. You could use it any any of your company time. 
Alright, that's it. Thank you for watching.